Welcome back to another Activia training video. We're looking at Microsoft Word again and a lot of users ask me about fields in Word. What's the point of fields? Why do we need them? What are they for? I'm confused about how I can use these in documents. But what we can do is add fields into a document for various reasons. For example, if I go to the Insert tab, let's try a few places for fields. We've got Quick Parts, here's Field. There's lots of the fields. I mean, a simple one to start with, you've got Author. It gets the author's name of this document. Set it to uppercase. Click OK and because of the login on this laptop, it's just found the, the user's login name of development and it's put that in there. But that would be the user's name. Let's try another one. So back into fields, scrolling through here. We've got things like the date the document was created. I can pick one out, format and just OK got today's date in there. Let's go back in. We've got things like, well, current date, document properties. We'll list all of the fields to do with the document properties. Things like subject could be useful, manager. We could put file name in here. Let's just change that to uppercase. Click OK. I've yet to save this file, so it's just called document three. So I'm going to save this file and click save on this. If I right click that document and just choose update field, it's now found the correct document name. Let's do one more. So, field, scroll through here. We've got um, user address, user initials, you've got username, you've got title of the document. So, there's quite a lot going on in here, far too much to cover in a short video. The categories, we can sort of select particular categories. If I go to document information, that limits the fields that we're dealing with because there is quite a lot of these fields. If I put in here num chars, that's number of characters. Just click OK. So there are 52 characters in this small document. So that's a, a very quick insight into the fields, but there's a huge range of uses for those. Some are used for things like mail merge, table data, bookmarks, endnotes, footnotes, etc. So there is quite a lot happening with these things. So hopefully you've enjoyed that quick guide into fields for Microsoft Word, and we'll see you on the next training course.